Welcome to the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing for Sunday, October 7th. This is Gina Palma. Over the next few days, we will continue to have showers across the area. Today, generally over the eastern half of the Great Basin, we'll see some wetting rains and also high elevation snowfall across Utah. On Monday, these showers will push a little bit further to the east, and then we'll have another system dropping down from the north on Tuesday, bringing rain and snow showers back to the northern half of the Great Basin, along with cool temperatures region-wide. Over the last 24 hours, we've seen precipitation generally focused over the southern areas, but also some lighter showers up north as well. We have had scattered lightning generally across parts of central and southern Nevada and along the Arizona Strip into southern Utah. Fire activity has been light across the Great Basin, and you can see these pink areas showing where our prescribed fire is. Over the last seven days, we've had heavy precipitation across the area, which has been well above normal for the time of year across most of the region. Some of the pockets that, that saw less amounts of precipitation are southern Nevada, parts of western and northern Nevada, and then into southern Idaho. However, we've still seen some precipitation along with much cooler temperatures. This has dropped our ERCs below generally the 50th percentile region-wide, with the exception of a few areas over eastern Idaho into northern Nevada that are still between the 50th and 70th percentile. If we look at a couple of our charts, we can see in all areas we've seen that significant drop in ERCs with the moisture we've had across the region over the last week, and most areas have now dropped near to below normal. The satellite loop from this morning shows this deep trough of low pressure along the west, which is what's generating our showers today across the Great Basin, along with the much cooler temperatures in the area. We also will have some gusty north winds as this area of low pressure continues to track eastward, and we get the northerly flow behind this system. It will be pretty breezy, however, temperatures will be cool and relative humidity will be high. Now looking at the weather pattern and fire potential for later today, obviously low fire potential across the Great Basin, and you can see where those showers will be throughout the day today over the eastern half of the area and that trough of low pressure. And then you can see those northerly winds behind the system moving eastward today. Therefore, looking at our weather picture, you can see where those showers will be today. We will also see some thunderstorm activity, but again, relative humidity will be very high. and we'll, We will see some wetting rains across parts of Utah, along with high elevation snowfall. Looking at the winds on the right, you can see the wind gusts, generally showing wind gusts between about 20 and 30 miles per hour over parts of Nevada, with also some stronger winds over northern and western Utah, especially in the mid to high elevations. Therefore, where we do see some prescribed fire today, we could see some gusty winds. These winds will be out of the north to northwest. As we move into Monday, this trough of low pressure moves a little bit further eastward, keeping those showers over the eastern half of the area. And again, we can start to see the, that next system dropping down from the north, bringing some showers to northern Idaho, generally north of the Great Basin, otherwise low fire potential. On Monday, you can see again those showers generally over the eastern half of the area with that snowfall in the high elevations of Wyoming down into Utah and rain showers and thunderstorms in lower elevations. And then you can start to see that next system start to move into the north with again some rain and snow showers into parts of Idaho and far northern Nevada. Winds will still be out of the west to northwest on Monday and still breezy generally across Nevada with gusts between about 15 and 20 miles per hour. As we move into Tuesday, this main trough starts to continue to swing eastward, and again that next system drops south, bringing some showers to the northern areas and continued low fire potential. Looking at the weather on Tuesday, mostly the northern half of the region will see those showers, again rain showers in the low elevations and snow to the mid and higher elevations. We'll continue with those west to northwest wind gusts between about 15 and 20 miles per hour. Overall forecast amount of precipitation over the next few days, you can see the heaviest amounts of precipitation will be across Utah into far southwest Wyoming, where we could see an additional inch to inch and a half of rainfall in some locations. Lighter amounts, but still areas of wetting rain and high elevation snowfall over parts of Idaho as well. As we move into the middle of the week, we will continue to see the showers across the eastern and northern two-thirds of the region as that trough continues to move eastward with again low fire potential. On Thursday, that trough finally pushes eastward, keeping those showers confined mainly to eastern Utah. However, we will see drier and breezy west to northwest winds behind this trough across much of the Great Basin. However, fire potential will still remain low as fuels are still quite moist. We will also continue watching Hurricane Sergio here off the Mexican coast. This will start to track northward, bringing moisture to our area as we get towards the weekend. By Friday, drier air moves across the region 
in all areas with warming temperatures through much of the week. However, again, here's that moisture from Sergio now moving into the southwest and by Saturday moves into southern areas of the Great Basin, seeing a return of showers and thunderstorms with areas of wetting rain with this tropical moisture. So continued fire potential across the Great Basin will remain low. Overall forecast amounts of precipitation over the next seven days. Much of that occurs here in the next few days. However, we will see a return of that wetter weather from the south as we move towards next weekend. The 8 to 14 day outlook shows generally warm temperatures for the western half of the area and normal temperatures in the east with better chances of drying conditions as we move towards the third week in October in the north with still wetter conditions down south. That concludes our webcast for today. Check back tomorrow for the latest updates.